Hey foodies, do you like pizza? Of course you like pizza! So let's make some gluten-free pizza with Frankie's gluten-free bread mix. But first, we need to look at the recipe. Looks pretty simple to me. So let's start with the bread mix. Then we're gonna pour in our oil. The two cups of tepid water. And I'm adding about a teaspoon extra of psyllium fiber. The psyllium fiber just gives the pizza dough a little bit more elasticity and chewiness because I like my pizza chewy. There we go, we've got pizza dough. Well, not quite baked pizza dough, but we've got the, bat, the dough all ready to go. It looks a lot wetter than what you're probably used to when with a traditional pizza dough. And well, that's because there's no gluten in this. So we need to substitute the gluten with a little bit of extra moisture so that it rises a little bit. And that just helps the flour and the yeast lift up the dough and make it a little bit less dense, because otherwise we'd all be eating little briquettes or something that tastes a bit like cardboard. Okay, so I'm going to... I have two pizza pans here, and I'm, I've layered them with some parchment paper just to keep the pizza dough from sticking to it, and makes my life a little easier when I'm cleaning, cleaning up at the end. And I'm going to split this evenly among the two. Okay. And now you're probably thinking, okay, how, how am I going to press this down without getting my hands all covered in goo? Well, it's actually really simple, and this is my secret for you. Cling film, or plastic wrap, depending on how you want to call it. And look, my hands didn't get dirty. So I've got a third pizza shell here, which I use to press, and I'm just lightly pressing evenly. Maybe with a little bit extra oomph. And look at that beautiful pizza shell. I'm just gonna press it a little bit more so that I can get a little bit more over here. There we go, that's one. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Now, we could par-bake these, and then we could pop them in the freezer, and whenever you want pizza, you just pull them out, decorate them up, put them in the oven, and you've got wonderful fresh pizza. But I want to make it right from raw. So, we're going to put some tomato sauce on. I went to Italy this past August and had some of the most amazing pizza I had ever had. And the one consistent factor I found in Italy with the pizzas was it was always less is more. There was like two, maybe three ingredients and that was it. And it was shocking that they all really spoke for themselves on what made them so good. So for the first pizza, I've chosen some mild cheddar cheese because it doesn't always have to be mozzarella. And if you put the cheese on first, then whatever toppings you put on top, you're both going to see them, but the cheese is going to help them stick. Okay, and then some sausage. There we 
go. Look at that pizza. It looks just great, but it's missing one thing. Some Parmigiano Reggiano. Fit for a king now. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside. Now we're on to the next pizza. So this one, I'm gonna do some mozzarella cheese. And this was my favorite pizza that I had in Italy. Some Parmigiano Reggiano. And some Italian buffalo mozzarella. Oh, this looks great. Just drop these in different spots. I bought this mozzarella cheese locally, and I'll leave the link in the description below. And we need some fresh basil. So I'm gonna put a few small leaves right in the middle as decoration. We'll do three. Look at that, that's great. And then the rest, Coarsely chop. And sprinkle that on throughout. Now this is my kind of pizza. So I'm gonna pop these in a preheated oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. And then we're gonna see what they look like and I'm gonna take a bite. See you in a minute. Oh. There's the first pizza, look at that. And the second pizza, oh my goodness. Cheese, cheddar cheese and sausage. We've got buffalo mozzarella and basil. Let's see if I can slice into these. A little bit. And that's why I use a little bit of parchment paper just in case it sticks a little bit. A slice. Look at that. Oh, I know what one I want to try. Okay. I don't think I can hold it with my hands. It's still too hot. <laughs> Knife and fork it. Get a bit more. Oh my god. This reminds me of Italy. In um, Napoli, we sat in this little restaurant on the side of the street, and it was just, oh my god. This brings back memories of pizza. And I want to know what your favorite pizza is, and maybe you will even tell me where you had your best pizza ever. Thanks for watching. I look forward to reading all of your comments. Have a good day.